Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. Now, following on from yesterday's video where we thought we blew up the 325, I've actually managed to get onto Gresham and he did have an AC compressor for that car. So I'm going to try and get it today and then hopefully get that car safe to drive again in the next couple of days. So we're going to head to Gresham. I've also got to go and pick up some Weld wheels for O'Reilly from a good friend of ours. Well, I say good friend, he's an old friend. We've known him for ages. Phil Moonfield from Cartel Industries. He doesn't know we even have a YouTube channel. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a bit of a road trip to do. I'm taking the X5. Let's hit the road. Still works. Doesn't need fuel though, strangely enough. All right, let's just have a quick check and see how far away from Gresham we are. So, an hour and 20 minutes. Let's go. All right, so we are fueled up with the finest E10 petrol money can buy. Hi, I just got an online order. Uh, Andrew? That's it. I Thank you. Well, here we go. We have made it to Gresham. Got some sick cars in concept wraps at the moment. Damn. And there's always some cool stuff here at Gresham. We got Shano. The old X5 has done well. It certainly road trips a bit better, but you average 12.6 liters per hundred. That was averaging around 12 before I got to some traffic and then started tromping it a bit. Anyway, let's go in and pick up this AC compressor. All right, there we have it. One N52 AC compressor. That's come off Matt's personal engine. Thank you very much, Matt. Um, yeah. They've actually had a bit of a clean up. Shop's looking mint at the moment. And I didn't have time to have a walk through the cars, but I am gonna be back in the next week or so down here. Hope you can see me because Shane wants to inspect the diff brace on my car before we start selling it, just to make sure there's no issues with anything. All right, now I gotta get on the road and pick up the most expensive set of wheels David and I have ever had anything to do with. Pair of wheels, in fact. All right, let's head to Cartel Online. So Friday afternoon, tolls, traffic's gonna be a killer. It's an hour and 16 minutes to do 50 kilometers. Ugh! All right, let's go. back home to the uh, the graveyard of BMWs it would seem um, yeah made it back average 13.1 liters and I didn't film at Phil's house because they want to be rude um, but I'm actually running late for a birthday dinner uh, I'm supposed to be there in 10 minutes which isn't gonna happen so this video will conclude tomorrow and we'll open those wheels up and have a better look at them all right, guys, it is the next day. We have O'Reilly on the lift with the wheels off the ground ready to go, and it's time to check out these wheels. Now, Dave, I haven't actually said much about these other than these are the most expensive wheels, Neil, you have ever had anything to do with. By like a, a, long, a long way. Yes. <laughs> now, we have seen pictures of them, but we haven't actually seen them in the flesh yet, so it's gonna be good to, well, I'm excited to get them out. Yeah. Isn't the RX-8 looking good? In fact, should we tell? These wheels are why the RX-8 is not registered because they were quite <laughs> expensive, but they're gonna be needed to get oh, really sorted. Let's get it cracked open. Let me get a knife. And did you tell them how they came to be through Cartel Oz? Not really. Um, yeah, basically Phil ordered these in for a customer. 
I think some time ago, and they ended up being the wrong fitment. Um, we don't actually know that they're definitely gonna fit on O'Reilly. I don't know anyone with a BMW that's ran this offset. They are a 10 inch wheel with a seven and a half inch backspace. Now that relates to about a 50 offset, I think from memory. They're also five by 120.6. Yeah. Which is a, an Imperial size. size. But I think that's gonna be okay. Look at that. Oh my God, Dave. I like it, it's like unwrapping. Uh, Jesus. That just looks. Billet wheel. Expensive, doesn't it? That, oh my God. I thought our cheap China drag wheels were pretty cool, but when you look at these, they there is a big difference. We're terrible YouTubers. We did not build that up anywhere near enough. As we just opened it. The size of it. <laughs> so it is a big wheel. It is a 15 by 10. They are 15 by 8s. And because we run these 275s, the 275 is just a little bit too wide for an 8 inch wheel. Now those wheels, we did buy them and they're basically the same physical size as the race stuff. Drag stuff. Yes, that come with the car. That come with the car, but they are a Chinese drag wheel. Um, but this is going to be the bee's knees. It's going to be a lighter, stronger rim, and it's the right rim for this tire. It's a proper, anyone that's serious about drag racing or going quick, they run weld wheels. They don't run the cheapest China drag wheels you can buy. Now, I've just remembered, these have the shank nuts, not the conical nuts. Yep. Uh, luckily, we do have some shank nuts. We bought shank nuts to fit the race stars, but never ended up doing it. It's huge! All right, man. All right, I think we just gotta get on the car. Although oh. I just noticed there's a box. It looks sick. This is in the box. Ooh. Hey, they're actually, there's a bit of weight in them, but, but look at the size of them, like. Center caps. I wasn't sure if they're gonna come with center caps. Out of Alveston. Yeah, nice. All right, let's get that wheel off and actually fit it up. This one on, cool. Actually, I better go and get the shank nuts. All right, so we've got the wheel here, and we genuinely don't know if it's going to clear everything. Damn, it's so wide. Will it fit? <laughs> that's going to be close to the shock. It feels oh like it's Oh my god, be... that's going to hit the shock. Um, that control arm, I think it's hitting already. Ah, shit. Yeah. It's close. It was close. Okay, so what we thought was the control arm was actually the brake nipple. Um, yeah, that's the rubber cap off of the bleed nipple on the brakes. And I'll put up a picture now of how close it is with the rubber cap removed. So we are talking millimeters of clearance for these things. Um, the other thing, it's gonna be tight. We're not sure. What you, we've just been talking off camera about this and just here, the tire is going to be so close to hitting this and then even reinforcement up here. brace. And yeah, I think it's actually going to rub on the inner guard there. You can see where somebody else's tire has been rubbing here, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed about the guard liner. Was, yeah, not the, the guard liner is on the inner wall, as long as it doesn't hit the, um, the where metal. that sound deadening is. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be close, but I think we'll be able to make it work. The back seems to be a little bit more room than the front side. But yeah, the, that's going to be really tight, and I'd, I'd say that's actually going to hit the tyre. That's going to need to... Either the wheel's going to maybe need to be spaced out a mil or three or four or five. I think what we want to do is we'll send some pictures to Dan at Simply Tuning. He's going to help us set this car up um, because we want to go fast. I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video, we want to get this going really fast, and we do need Dan's help to perfect this setup. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, so we want to get the port injection running a little bit cleverly, more cleverly than it does, and some smart boost control on it. So that's gonna be coming in the next few weeks. We have decided to just get it done. Although this is awesome fun as it is, there's a lot of potential that's untapped with this at the moment. So it'll be interesting to see it going even faster, maybe even a low nine second pass. Which is crazy to think of that a, it's still gonna be a stock block, still gonna be a stock N54, just with a lot of boost, some clever boost control, and some more timing. We're gonna wind the timing back up. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I wanted to get these wheels. We've been running the China drag wheels, which are fine for roll racing and having a little bit of fun, but they're still quite a heavy wheel where these are a lightweight proper wheel. And although- and 10 the, inches wide too. I've I mean, heard 10 inches is a good number. The, especially width, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, the fitment looks crazy, man. Even though these have cost so much money, I almost feel like it was worth it. Yeah, I'm they're still- a good looking wheel. I'm excited and I think 
like when when they're both on the car and they're going to be like that what it's just going to look so fat it's going to look proper, proper drag car spec <laughs> it looks as wide as the tire without the yeah. <laughs> oh it's going to be a cool looking setup all right we're going to end off there guys um sorry about the lack of action in this one we were quite nervous about fitment on these it was, um, it was a big investment <laughs> it was yeah damn all right, um, and, and there's a sticker on here as well that says, if you mount it, you own it. There it is. I, I hope they're talking about the tyre. But I think we're going to have to mount a tyre to see if they're going to fit. Yeah, exactly. There's no other option. Nah. We'll oh, see how we go. And speaking of really quick N54 passes, Gasson in America, they've been trying to set a new record for themselves with their crazy car. They've got a turbo 400. Um, so if you're interested in these things going quick, go and give them a follow because they're Killing it, really. Yeah. Give them a shout out, give them some encouragement because it'd be interesting to see some other cars doing some low nines, eight second passes as well with a similar setup. Yeah, well, I think they they put, they put did put a video up of their car doing a sort of like a tire warm up, tire warm up on the trans brake um, and then they were going to the track, but I haven't seen anything since. Well, we know how much effort Dan put into this. Back in 2016, it took a lot of finessing to get the auto to work. So, I mean, they, could have been they're gonna yeah, get there. settings and yeah. Anyway, wish them all the best. All right, let's end this video off. There's gonna be a fair bit more really content. Oh, guess what? The dash cluster broke again. Went to start it up today and we got no dash cluster again. So that's annoying. It's fried two dash clusters now. Sucks. Weird little things. Something, I fear something may be getting wet, but who knows? Anyway, we're gonna end off. Thank you very much. Peace.